Hi guys, just a little repair video here. Um, I'm fixing uh, one of these little fellas. I'm going to try to. Uh, 10 amp uh, 12 volt battery charger. Um, don't know if you can see in here. I'm trying this little mini tripod too right now. Um, so maybe it makes the shot a little better, I don't know. But uh, just below my finger there you can see capacitor's gun and uh, got excited and spread itself everywhere. Um, rattling around inside, we found this. This will focus here for us. But uh, just a little 50 volt cap. popped right off. Um, it's twin right there. If you can see right here next to it. Same value and everything. It doesn't appear to be bulging yet but it does look like there's a bit of a kind of hard to see. It does look like the top might be pushed up a tiny bit. So uh, Due to, uh, <clears throat> thanks to the magic of the uh, slow boat from China, I got some extra cheap uh, capacitor to try. Come on, focus. Focus. Not enough contrast there for it to focus. Anyhow, there we go. Super cheap. I think a bag of 10... What was that? Yep, bag of five was 99 cents, so I don't expect the most out of them. But it would be nice if uh, that's all was wrong with this. Just some dodgy caps. So I'll replace the dodgy caps with more dodgy caps. So I'm going to get to that, and uh, then I'll get back with you. Oh, another thing I did, is you'll notice, oop, my finger took us out of focus here. I uh, marked the power wires that look the same with some black marker so I can put them back in the in the correct spot just in case I get confused anyhow uh, I'm gonna have at that now and then I'll uh, get back to you all right so uh, I got it out of the uh, the case I didn't want to bother desoldering the uh, amp meter or any of that there's no need to it's only on a short cord um, the trouble is that little, let's see if we can get in here closer. You might fight us here with this little pod. Um, there we go, focused. If you can see the center of the uh, electrolytic cap that popped. Um, I just got to finish cleaning off most of the junk that was around here. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to replace him. Probably the one next to him. I'm just gonna assume it's a bad batch. Couldn't see anything. Couldn't see any other faults on the board. Everything looks fine. A little bit uh, crusty on this side. Using some soldered in wire to beef up the heavier traces to the uh, battery charger. Um, almost. Yeah, I don't think it's coated with anything. But there seems to be a little bit of leftover flux from whatever they were doing. So we'll clean that and uh, solder in the replacements. Okay, well, I replaced both dodgy caps with a brand new one. This was the old, the old one there. I don't know if I just went from a a better brand to a worse brand. Um, those are, um, let's see, the replacements were, I guess, Rubicon. No, Rubicon. Alright, well, they're the same value, anyways, same temperature range. The other caps here look decent, so 
that's all I could find. Nothing else looked like it was in a in a bad way. So I'm going to uh, reinstall the board and uh, connect it to my uh, one of my car batteries here and uh, power it up just as soon as I finish cleaning some of the gunk off and uh, some of the uh, uh, flux there. Anyhow, so I'll uh, clean it, assemble it, and then uh, get back to you. Oh, there we go. Looks like, uh, oh, we're upside down. There we go. Flip you around. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's all wired back up. I'm pretty sure the same way it was when I took it apart. Not too worried about the AC input side. Got the ground and then the battery charge leads. So anyhow, next is to uh, try powering it up and uh, see if she'll charge a battery. Uh, stay tuned for that. Welcome back. I've got it uh, hooked up to a, a battery. Now this is a good battery. Um, I've had it out of a vehicle for a little while, but uh, it's fairly darn new. It was in a, the vehicle died, the battery's good, so this battery's not very old. But it hasn't been charged in a little while. So I just got it on the two amp selector, um, but uh, soldered in caps, clean the board. Um, I'll put the, the top on this. I don't know if you can hear. There's the nice hum, AC hum from the big transformer there, but it appears to be charging. And uh, yeah, going in and out of uh, seems to be going in and out of a charge. I don't know if that's just the machine testing the battery or, or what. That might just be my leads. Let's try here. No, well, leads are good. Yep. Now, neat thing about this is if there's no load, um, it only puts about a half a volt in the charge leads if there's no actual load. Because when I had no battery plugged in, this turned on different modes. All you could detect, all you could see, I guess, was just a tiny bit of sense current or something in the wires, was like a half volt. So, anyhow, I'm gonna quickly. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. She's humming pretty good there. But uh, yeah, she's working. But you can hear it sing. I'd say switch mode power supply. I don't know if it's picking that hum up. I'm just gonna turn you sideways where the microphone is. Yeah, no, but uh, let me turn that back down to two amps. Yeah, much quieter. But uh, I'm charging her there. So I suppose that meter shows me she's in need of a bit of a charge. So we'll let that go for a few minutes, and uh, I'm pretty much going to say uh, she's fixed. Just needed a little bit of a clean up, and uh, replace the uh, bad caps with some new caps. Uh, One dollar fix. Had to wait 45 days for it to come from overseas for the capacitors, but it's a one dollar fix. Anyhow. Um, as always, if you have any questions, put them below, like if you like, if you don't like, uh, please uh, take a moment to explain why, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.